if you've ever seen someone compare the size of the Earth and the size of the Sun to scale in an image or a video, you'll know that the Earth is so small in comparison that it becomes hard to spot. It's easy to think of all stars as these massive entities that dominate their local systems, while planets are just tiny curiosities hanging off to the side. After all, 99.86% of the total mass of our solar system is contained within our Sun. But as we learn more about our universe, we start to realize that there is always new data out there that overturns what we thought we knew on its head. And now, in a groundbreaking discovery that defies our current astronomical theories, researchers have identified an exoplanet orbiting an ultra-cool dwarf star that appears far too massive for its diminutive host. This revelation, made possible by the habitable zone planet finder, challenges our understanding of planetary formation and the very nature of stars and their satellites. If you wish to see more fascinating space stories like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe. The team of astronomers, with members from universities including Princeton and Penn State, uncovered this extraordinary exoplanet, designated LHS 3154b, and published their finding in the journal Science at the tail end of 2023. Located in our neighborhood just 50 light years away, the star that it orbits, named LHS 3154, is an M-type star, which are colloquially called red dwarfs. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the Milky Way galaxy, but are hard to spot because they are typically smaller and dimmer. LHS 3154, for example, only has about 11% of the mass that our Sun has and only 14% of its radius. Contrast this to the planet, LHS 3154b, which is a Neptune-like ice giant over 13 times the mass of the Earth. This puts the mass ratio of the star and planet pair at around 100 times greater than the Earth and the Sun. Such a mass ratio between this colossal planet and its tiny star is unprecedented, posing significant questions about existing models of planetary system formation. This discovery really drives home the point of just how little we know about the universe, said Suvrath Mahadevan, a co-author of the study and a professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State. We wouldn't expect a planet this heavy around such a low-mass star to exist. Stars form from massive clouds of gas and dust, which, upon gathering enough material, collapse under their own gravity. The intense gravity drives fusion reactions in the core of the star, and the outward radiation pressure of these reactions arrests further collapse. This process does not consume all of the surrounding cosmic material and leaves behind a disk of material from which planets eventually emerge. The mass of the remaining material limits the size of any planets that can form. In the case of LHS 3154b, the planet's heavy core implies that its protoplanetary disk contained an unexpected abundance of solid material. This challenges the conventional wisdom, suggesting that the original disk around LHS 3154 had a dust mass and dust to gas ratio much higher than predicted by our latest planetary models. In fact, the protoplanetary disk would have to be 10 times more massive than what we expected to form a planet as large as LHS 3154b. The planet forming disk around the low mass star LHS 3154 is not expected to have enough solid mass to make this planet, Mahadevan explained. But it's out there, so now we need to re-examine our understanding of how planets and stars form. Given that astronomers have already conducted several planetary surveys of M-type stars and not found anything like LHS 3154b means that this is not a common occurrence. This has added to the excitement of this discovery because of how exceptional it might be. The discovery of LHS 3154b was made possible by the Habitable Zone Planet Finder, or HPF, a spectrograph designed to detect light in the near-infrared. It is installed on the Hobby Eberly Telescope in Texas. Built in 1997, the Hobby Eberly is one of the largest optical telescopes on the planet. The HPF instrument is specifically designed to detect planets around the M-type stars in the Milky Way, focusing on those situated in the habitable zone where liquid water might exist, a key ingredient for life. The HPF's success in identifying LHS 3154b not only underscores the instrument's capabilities, but also highlights the potential for discovering more such unexpected planets. According to Gamunder Stephenson, the study's lead author, Making the discovery with HPF was extra special, as it is a new instrument that we designed, developed, and built from the ground up for the purpose of looking at the uncharted planet population around the lowest mass stars. Because red dwarfs have smaller masses and radii, they produce less heat, making them comparatively cooler than other stars. 
As a result, most of the light they emit is at infrared wavelengths. To detect these infrared wavelengths with our instruments, we need to ensure that the instruments are extremely cool. Otherwise, the instrument's own heat emits enough infrared radiation that it would completely drown out any of the infrared starlight the sensors might receive. That is why the HPF is cooled down to a minus 93 degrees Celsius or minus 136 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is not the only challenge. Since the instrument was built to detect promising planets that may potentially be habitable, it is most often looking for Earth-like rocky planets with smaller masses. Because of their low mass, they put out comparatively weaker signals that need greater precision to be detected, which is why the HPF is kept in a vacuum chamber on top of everything else, since any change in temperature or pressure would interfere with the results. This precise design and engineering has not only allowed the HPF to detect the kinds of planets it was built to locate, but exciting edge cases like LHS 3154b as well. As Stephenson put it, now we are reaping the rewards, learning new and unexpected aspects of this exciting population of planets orbiting some of the most nearby stars. The findings regarding LHS 3154b compel astronomers to revisit and potentially revise their theories on planetary formation. The presence of such a massive planet around a low-mass star suggests that the processes governing the accumulation of planetary material may be more varied and complex than previously thought. Ultra-cool dwarf stars like LHS 3154b continue to be an area of intense study. These stars, with surface temperatures below 2700 Kelvin and sizes not much larger than Jupiter, present unique challenges due to their low luminosity, complicating detection efforts. However, advancements in infrared astronomy and instruments like the HPF are paving the way for new discoveries that could reshape our understanding of the universe. The discovery of LHS 3154b is a testament to the power of modern astronomical tools and the ever-expanding boundaries of human knowledge. It serves as a reminder of how much there is still to learn about the cosmos and the complex processes that govern the formation of stars and their planetary companions. What do you hope we find next? Please leave us your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to ring that bell for those instant notifications. Thanks for watching.